So, Cauchy Rainman equation. No? Okay. So, for example, uh, we know from the previous topic that we could represent our um, complex function as z, where n z is equal to x plus g of y, wherein your x is the real part, no? and your y is the imaginary part of our com complex uh, function, no? imaginary part no okay so if we are going to get no the uh, the derivative of our um, complex uh, complex function so the cauchy rydman equation is given by a condition so a condition must be met in order for us to be able to find the derivative of our complex function. So, the condition is that your partial derivative of u in terms of x is equal to the partial derivative of v in terms of y. So, that is the first no, condition. The other one is the partial derivative of u in terms of y is equal to the negative partial derivative of v in terms of x. No? So this is the cauchy riemann equation. So this two. Wherein your u is the real part. So real part of z which is our complex function which is in terms of x and y. Then our v is the imaginary part, imaginary part of our z, which is also in terms of x and y. Okay. So, if the cauchy riemann equation is satisfied, so these two conditions or these two equations, so we could say that the derivative, no? The derivative, the f prime of our um, complex function z is equal to the partial derivative of u in terms of x plus j, so j is the imaginary number, times the uh, partial derivative of v in terms of y. So we could only use this um, formula, no? this one, we could only get the derivative of our um, of our um, complex function if these two equations above, no, this cauchy riemann equation is met. No? If not, then we could not uh, get no, the derivative of that complex number. Okay? So, to appreciate this one, so we need to have an example. No? So that we could have a direct application of our of our formulas, no? So example. Okay. So our z is equal to x plus j of y. Then we need to get the uh, the our f of z will be equal to z squared. No? So, this will be our function. So, we need to get the first derivative of our z. No? So, that is the requirement of the problem. No? Okay. 
So the first thing to do, we've got our solution here, is to first get z, no? z squared. No? So z squared, so our z is equal to x plus j of y. So our z squared is equal to x plus j of y squared. So we will have, so we have x squared plus 2 um, xy, 2jxy, uh, no? plus y squared. So you just treat this one as a perfect square, no? perfect square trinomial. So this, so our um, our answer here will be a perfect square trinomial. Then combining the real part and the imaginary part, so we will have x squared plus y squared plus j two x y. Okay. So now we could determine what is our u and our v. No. So this will be our u the real part and this will be our uh, v but after that we need to check no if this um if these conditions here are met if this is met then we could proceed to getting the derivative of our z squared no so first we need to find the We need to find the partial derivative, okay, the partial derivative of u over or in terms of x, okay, so I forgot to write here what is our u, let's just write that one first, no? so that it will be clear, no? Okay, so our u is equal to x squared plus y squared. That is the real part no, of our given um, complex function. And our v is equal to 2xy. So that is the imaginary part, no? this one. So this is our v, this is our u. Okay, so now let's solve for our partial derivative of u in terms of x no so our u is this one so we need to get the partial derivative the derivative of this one in terms of x so when we say partial derivative no if a partial derivative of a function for example the function is composed of two variables x and y if the partial derivative of that one, for example, we have partial derivative of um, x y, or no, x plus y, in terms of x, what we are going to do is we only get the derivative of the uh, of the independent variable, no, or what, or in in differential calculus we, we call that one as the uh, the one that we are going to derivative or derive the function in terms of. So for this one, it is in terms of x. Then the other variable, we treat that one as constant. So for this one, the, the partial derivative of this function is equal to, the, the derivative of x is equal to 1. Then the derivative of y, because we treat y as a constant, so the partial derivative of our y is equal to zero, no? Because the because the partial the derivative of a constant is zero, no? Okay, so for this one we have here we need to get the derivative of x squared plus y squared all over in terms of x no so we, we treat our y squared here as constant so we only get the derivative of x or x squared so that will be 2x okay next we need to get the partial 
derivative of v in terms of that will be in terms of x no okay so it will be equal to so our v is 2xy no so partial derivative 2xy over or in terms of x so we will treat our y as constant no so this will be constant so we only derivat, uh, get the derivative in terms of x so that will be 2 because y is constant so we just copy y and the derivative of x is 1 so we will have 2y okay next is we need to get the partial derivative of u no partial derivative of u in terms of y okay so we will end up with this will be partial derivative of x squared plus y squared in terms of y so for for this one we will treat our x as constant so this will be zero and we will be getting the derivative of y so that will be 2y the next, the partial derivative of v, okay, in terms of, in terms of y, no? So, this will be equal to partial derivative of 2xy all over y. So, this will be so if it, uh, this is in terms of y so our y will be the variable our x will be constant so this will be equal to to x no okay so let's just first i believe i uh, made a mistake here no over here so the getting the z squared no so because if you are going to have this one no so this will be uh, j will be j squared no it will be j squared and if you have j squared no as in the previous video that will be equal to negative one so our y here will be negative y squared no? so we must be careful in getting the z no or the z squared especially if we are uh, multiplying imaginary numbers no so as a review also g squared is equal to negative one then g cube no? is equals to negative j and j to the power of four is equal to one no? so it is discussed on the first no first topic no so this will be this one will be negative what also and this one no? so this will be negative so this is negative so I just have that one in green so that we could see that we have changed no? the sign okay so if this is negative no this will be negative to y okay so now we will go on checking the Rainman uh, Cauchy Rainman equation no so we have the partial derivative partial derivative of u in terms of x is equal to the partial derivative of v in terms of y okay so we check that one so partial derivative of u in terms of x so this is the answer for that one from our given no? uh, derived from our given then the partial derivative of v in terms of y so that is also 2x okay so the first condition is satisfied the second condition so we have the partial derivative of u in terms of y is equal to the negative partial derivative of partial derivative of v 
in terms of x no okay so checking so we have here to y and this is equal to so this is du dy no? uh, partial derivative of u of y so that is negative to y the other one is partial derivative of this one no? of v in terms of x so that is um to y no so as we can see their their um sign no their signs are interchanged so we, just, we could just have that one multiplied by negative ones to satisfy the condition okay so the second condition is now met no so we could now proceed to getting the derivative so the derivative of z no okay so this will be equal to the partial derivative of u in terms of x plus j partial derivative of v in terms of y no no that is in terms of i believe x no Let's just check first on the notes above so that is in terms of okay in terms of x no so this is not in terms of y but in terms of x okay so this is in terms of x no so partial derivative of u in terms of x partial derivative of v in terms of x okay this will be in terms of x okay so our partial derivative of u in terms of x is equal to that will be u x no this one so that will be equal to 2x no 2x plus j then the, the that is partial derivative of v in terms of x okay so that will be 2y no so 2y okay then factoring out our 2 no we factor out our 2 okay so 2 is equal to Two, then we have x plus j of y no and from the given condition so x plus j of y no above so this one x plus j of y is equal to z no so the final answer for that one the the first derivative of our z which is the z squared no for in this instance is equal to two z and this is now our answer okay uh, z squared okay. so we will have our z as x squared y plus j x cube no so let's try if we could get the derivative of this one no? using the cauchy riemann equations no? solution okay so we'll be getting here the first derivative no okay so we have we first get the u and our v no so our u so the real part that will be x squared y then our v so that will be x cube no x cube okay then we will get the uh, we will get the partial derivative of u in terms of x no so our u is x squared y so our partial derivative of that one will be equal to 2xy no because we consider our y as 
constant and we only get the derivative of our variable x or in terms of x then the next one is the partial derivative of x in terms of v so our v is x cubed okay so we will have this one as 3x squared next is the partial derivative of u in terms of y so our u is x squared y all over uh, terms of y now in terms of y so we will have here so we will now treat our x as constant so that the derivative of y is just equal to 1 so we, have, we could write that one as x squared no? for the partial derivative of u in terms of y and the partial derivative of v in terms of y okay that is x cubed in terms of y so x is constant no so there are no other um, terms no which is y for this um, function no x cubed so the derivative of a constant is equal to zero now checking if we could satisfy the uh, cauchy riemann equation so we have the partial derivative of u in terms of the i will write this one in blue no? the partial derivative of u in terms of x is equal to the partial derivative of v in terms of y no? from our answer our partial derivative of u in terms of x is 2xy and this one is equal to 0 so the first condition is not met then we have the partial derivative of u in terms of partial derivative of u in terms of y is equal to the negative partial derivative of v in terms of x then the answer for that one so our partial derivative of u in terms of y is equal to x squared then the partial derivative of v in terms of x is equal to 3x squared negative no this is in reverse that is partial derivative of v in terms of x so as you can see they are not equal so this also does not satisfy the cauchy rainman equation so therefore we could see or we could have a conclusion that f the first derivative of our z which is the given is um, x squared y no x squared y plus j of x cubed has no derivative okay. so if we, if we cannot get the first derivative then also it will follow that we cannot get the second third and the fourth derivative no for the second example if by testing you could not satisfy the cauchy riemann equation so you do not need to apply the formula for the derivative no for this formula this one no so you just put a conclusion that the given function or the given value of z has no derivative of course you must prove that one by going through the testing if the given function or the given partial derivative of those function can satisfy the cauchy riemann equation okay then next we will go to conjugate and harmonics no so we have here conjugate And harmonics okay 
So going back to our uh, basic operations on complex variables, so if you are going to divide a uh, certain complex uh, function, for example, 2 minus j over um, 3 plus j of 2, so in order to divide that one, the rule is we will try to or we will multiply the numerator and the denominator by the conjugate of the denominator. When we say conjugate, a uh, conjugate of a complex function is a another complex function in which they have the same magnitude, so meaning the real and imaginary part are equal, but the imaginary part is at opposite or uh, different sign. No? For example, for this one, that would be 3 minus j of 2, then 3 minus j of 2. Then we could now get the, the answer of this um, division no? of this um, operation here. Okay? But for this one, the conjugate will stand as a a way for us to know if our function can satisfy a certain um, analytical curve or method. No? So, in order to do that one is we need first to get the derivative. No? So, the, the conditions is first we need to get the derivative of our function no, dy dx wherein this is our u okay which is which will be equal to the partial derivative of our u in terms of y or the partial derivative of our u in terms of x no so the, this will be our gradient or the slope of our um, conjugate no then we have if we will be in terms of our v no the slope of our v okay, the conjugate so this will be equal to the partial derivative of v in terms of y over the partial derivative of v in terms of x no Okay, so if in case that the uh, partial derivative, I don't know, the derivative of our y in terms of x on the real part, then it will be multiplied by the derivative of our y in terms of x in the imaginary part. If the product of that one is equal to negative 1, then our given function, no, our f of z, no, f of z, so the curve of u and v are of 90 degrees or or to, or that will be orthogonal to each other, no, or, or the angle between them, no, the curve of our real and imaginary part. So if you are going to create the argon diagram, so if you remember the argon diagram is the way, uh, a way for us to know the equivalent of our rectangular to polar, no? polar uh, form of the complex uh, function or complex variable. So orthogonal. So our U and V, the imaginary and the real part are of 90 degrees with, the, with respect to each other. No? Okay. So we will have here an example. No? So we need to um, we need to find no, the conjugate function. No? So for example, here given sample. Okay. So given u x y is equal to x squared no? x squared plus y squared oh no, minus so minus uh, minus y squared 
plus 2x no? so we need to find the conjugate no? the conjugate function okay, so the conjugate function will be the imaginary part v x y no? v in terms of x and y such that such that u x function u function x y is equal uh, plus j function no, v function x y is an analytic no an analytic or analytic function so meaning you could grab this one on a plane of z throughout the z plane okay so given you function x y is equals to x squared minus y squared plus 2x we need to find the conjugate function v in terms of x y such that u in terms of x y plus g v in terms of x y is an analytic function of z throughout the z plane so if that is an analytic function so we could apply the gradient here no this one the conditions for gradient c no so we could only apply this one the conditions for gradient c and you could only get the conjugate of our function if that function also satisfy the cauchy riemann equation. So, because the, give, the problem um, states that uh, the function is analytic function of z through the z-plane, so we would assume that the, that the function that we are going to find, especially this one, v x in terms of x and y, and this and this one also if you are going to to check no the the function of this one no the partial derivatives of these two uh, functions the, the real and the imaginary part we could satisfy the cauchy riemann equation no but as of now because the problem states that we need to find this one so we could not check so we will only assume that uh, that at the end of this uh, problem, if we could now get our v x of y, that they are uh, that they will satisfy the cauchy riemann equation, no? And that is very useful because we could now use the cauchy riemann equation in, in getting the conjugate of our function. Okay, so solution. So what we are going to solve is the v in terms of x y, no? So first, okay, we need to get the, because we are all, all already given the, uh, the real part, no, real part. So from the Cauchy-Riemann equation, so we could say that the derivative, uh, the partial derivative of V in terms of Y, no, we could go back here to our previous uh, discussion no? so the partial derivative of v in terms of y is equal to the partial derivative of u in terms of x okay so this is equal to the partial derivative of u in terms of x and our partial derivative of u because we are given with u given the u in terms of x y so this will be equal to the partial derivative of x squared minus y squared plus 2x that will be in terms of x so getting the derivative of the partial derivative so this will be zero here because this will be considered as constant so we, we will have 2x plus 2 okay so from this one we could also say that the partial derivative of v in terms of y is equal to 2x plus 2 then solving for v 
So, we need to integrate, no? integration. So, solving for V, that will be uh, partial derivative of V, then 2x plus 2 partial derivative of y, no? just cross multiply that one. So, we will, we will integrate both sides, no? that will be in terms of y, so this one will be equal to v, so the, the, integ the integral for this one is 2xy, then for this one also this 2 will be 2y, and of course, because we are doing um, indefinite integration, so we need to have a constant, no? the constant, so let's just have the constant here because this will be in terms of y, so our constant will be in terms of x, no? f of x, okay, so we now have our v, but, so of course, having our v, our v will be in terms of x and y, so this could be the answer, no? The answer to the conjugate, no? to the question about the conjugate of our uh, given uh, function here, no? or to complete our um, z. No? Okay? So, but we have a problem because we need first to determine our f of x. No? So, how we are going to do that? So, we just uh, try to get the derivative of this, no? So, partial derivative of V in terms of, so because we are done with in terms of Y, so we'll go to in terms of X. So, this will be equal to the partial derivative of 2XY plus 2Y plus F of X over, or no? In terms of x, no? so this will be equal to 2x, then 2x, then plus, no? plus f prime of x. No? Okay, so from the Cauchy Riemann equation also, so going back, so this one, no? So, this one, that is from the uh, Cauchy-Ringman equation. Okay. So, our the partial derivative of u in terms of y is equal to the negative partial derivative of v in terms of x no okay so if we are going to get the partial derivative of u in terms of y okay so going to get that one the partial derivative of u in terms of y so this will be the partial derivative of x squared minus will be y squared okay minus y squared plus 2x, no? that will be in terms of y, so we will have that one, so this will be constant 0, 0, so we will have negative 2y, so we substitute this one to this uh, equation here, so that will be negative 2y is equal to, so this one is our partial derivative of v in terms of x so partial derivative of v in terms of x no so that will be negative 2x plus f of x no okay so we will end up with is it 2x or 2y let's just check first okay so derivative of okay no so that will be equal to 2x. No? Okay, is it 2x? Let's just check. So this is partial derivative of 2xy. Uh, so this will be 
uh, 0. No? So, this will be 0. So, that will not be 2x but 2y no? from this one. So, I consider this one. No? This term instead of this term. So, the derivative of 2xy is um, uh, in terms of x. No? The partial derivative of 2xy in terms of x is 2y. No? So, this will be 2y here. So, we'll have negative 2y is equal to negative 2y minus f of x. So, solving for f of x. No? So, we put f of x here. Then, we transfer our 2y, this one. On the left side of the equation, we transfer to the right side. So, that will become positive. So, this will be equal to 0. So, our f prime of x is equal to 0. So, from the equation here, so this one. So, the final value of our V is equal to 2xy plus 2y. Then, the value of f of x is equal to 0. Or, we could simplify that one as 2xy plus 2y. Okay. So, this is now our uh, this is now our answer, no? For the conjugate of our given equation no so if you are going to write further the equation no? so if you are going to have this one here so we could write that one z is equal to is equal to what is our u u is x squared minus y squared no x squared minus y squared plus 2x then our uh, j that this would be v uh, in terms of x y so the value of that is this one no so 2x y plus 2y no? so this is the this is our complex no, the complete complex function okay so that will be the uh, solution for this problem okay so any